All right, so today we're gonna to cover the cardiac cycle. But first we're gonna to need to cover some of the basic anatomy of the heart, and then we're gonna jump into the physiology of the blood flow throughout the heart. So let's go ahead and dive into this material. First, we need to make sure we understand that this is the right side of the heart, and this is the left side of the heart. And the reason for that is because we've got to look at this heart from the anterior view. This is the anterior aspect of the heart. And so we got to think of the anatomical position. And that is looking at this heart from the anterior view, making this the right side of the body and the left side of the body. So this is the right atrium. This is our right ventricle. This is our left atrium. And then this is the left ventricle. And these are the four different chambers of our heart. So just a few other basic structures of the heart. We have the superior vena cava. We have the inferior vena cava. We have the aorta. We have the pulmonary arteries. We have the pulmonary veins. And then we need to cover the different valves. So these were the pulmonary arteries, making this the pulmonary valve right here. This is the aortic valve leading into the aorta. So those are pretty easy to remember. Now we need to make sure that we understand the valves that are between the atrium and the ventricles. Okay, so we have first our tricuspid valve. Tri meaning three. And so we can easily see that there's kind of like these three flaps right here. And so it is from the right atrium into the right ventricle is our tricuspid valve. Now our bicuspid, meaning two, you can see these two flaps, is between the left atrium and the left ventricle. So now let's go ahead and cover the blood flow. So blood's gonna pump throughout our body and then it needs to get back to our heart. So gravity is gonna go ahead and take care of the blood that's in our head and it's gonna go in through our superior vena cava. And then the venous pump is gonna help blood flow go back into our inferior vena cava. And it's gonna go into our right atrium and it's going to fill up in there. Now it's in blue because it is oxygen poor. So that means it is D oxygenated, meaning there is no oxygen on this blood. So from that right atrium, blood is going to move through our tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, and it's going to fill up the right ventricle. And then that blood is going to pump through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary arteries. It's going to go to the left one, and it's going to go through the right pulmonary arteries and it is going to go to the lungs now when it is in the lungs it is then going to be oxygenated meaning that when it returns back into the heart it will have oxygen attached to the blood and it's going to fill our left atrium so this is oxygen rich another word for it is just oxygenated so from this, it's going to pass through the bicuspid valve and it's going to fill up our left ventricle. Now, from our left ventricle, notice that this has much bigger tissue here. That's because it needs to push this through the aortic valve to the aorta and throughout the rest of the body. So blood is going to push past the aortic valve and all this oxygenated blood go throughout the rest of the body and go ahead and bring nutrients to the rest of our body tissues and everything else and the cycle is going to continue. Now, real quick, let me show you an easy way to memorize where the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves are. You can draw this little cross right here and you're gonna have to remember to write right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. And then you need to put a three here and a two here. This three means tricuspid, and this two means bicuspid. And so you can remember that the left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood through the rest of the body, and the right ventricle is gonna pump blood to the lungs. So hopefully this helps you at least remember the different valves that go here as for the rest, make sure you memorize in the right ventricle, blood is pumped through the lungs. From the left ventricle, blood is pumped through the rest of the body. So I hope this helps y'all going forward and understanding more about the anatomy and physiology of the heart. If y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my email in the About Me section of our YouTube channel. Y'all have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all take care.